Hello YouTube, this is Kyle Style Productions again coming to you and today we are going to install audio units for Logic Pro 9. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do is keep your Logic code down for now because you're going to have to shut it down and restart it if it's up when you do this. Okay, so I'm going to go open some plugins, open my cheese machine. Um, okay, now that I have that open, okay, go here in your spotlight, or if you've already have it on your desktop, go into your Macintosh hard drive. Okay, now you're going to want to go into library, audio, okay. Scroll down to plugins. Now, Logic uses components and not VSTs. Okay, now you can get a VST AU manager which will make Logic compatible with VSTs. Uh, I do have one and it does work very well. But we're not doing that right now. We are showing you how to put in components. So you take your AU, your audio unit, yeah, okay, the cheese machine, and there are two of them. They are the same thing, but different interfaces on them. Okay, so you're going to want to take these and drop them right into your components. Okay, I already have them in there, so I'm going to replace them just to show you how it does work. Okay, now let's exit out of these things here. Um, let's open up Logic. Now this thing's gonna pop up saying if I want to ignore or something. Uh, there it is. Uh, start AU Manager. Because some of the audio units that I have they don't work. Uh, that's okay. I'll just hit ignore. Uh, okay. Right, now here's a beat that I had already previously started so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut take that out and we're gonna just bring it right back and it's gonna be under big tick uh, cheese machine and cheese machine metal uh, they, like I said they are the same they all have the same sounds in them uh, the only difference is is the actual skin for it see that looks like that and now I'm gonna show you the other one. They just look completely different. See that? I mean, it, it, you could tell a big difference. Uh, I like the other one better. So let's go back and get that one. And I will show you that it works. Let's use a. Uh, Cheese leads good, huh? That's how you install an audio unit through your components uh, to get it to work properly. All right, everybody, have a good day, good night, wherever it is or whatever it is, the time, I don't know. But have fun doing this with all your new audio unit plugins, instruments, whatever else you have. All right, thank you.